All right. I'm going to be telling you... Sorry. Sorry, I interrupted your applause. I'm going to be telling you about uh, Pandas on uh, DuckDB. I'm Aditya Parmeshwaran, uh, co-founder uh, of Ponder, also a professor at Berkeley. Okay, so most of you already know about Pandas. Pandas is the bread and butter of data science and machine learning. Um, the, the popularity of Python increasing over time has been attributed to Pandas. Uh, Pandas is now as popular as Python was a few years ago. And at least according to this one publication, it's called the most important tool in data science. So all very cool. Why is it so cool? Uh, well, it's flexible and convenient, right? So you start out with the tabular data model, but you also add in order, right? So you can refer to data by position based on the, the row number or the column number. You also have these convenient row labels. So you can actually reference, uh, uh, give names to your rows and then refer to the, the, the rows by name. And it's also very, very flexible, right? So schema is not required upfront, supports mixed types per column, and so on, right? Um, and so the second reason why Pandas is, is, is so great for data science is that it has a very rich, rich body of functions that let you do pretty much whatever you want to your data, right? Uh, be it featureize it, clean it, transform it, summarize it, et cetera. And it draws on uh, not just relational algebra, but also linear algebra and spreadsheet functions. And you have operations that you wouldn't normally think to do in SQL, uh, like dropping columns that have a certain uh, a fraction of null values, transposes, uh, one-hot encoding a, a super common feature engineering operation, uh, updating based on position, and, and so on and so forth. Right? Lots of stuff that you would encounter very frequently in the data science context, very hard to do from a SQL uh, context. Okay, so the problem with pandas is that it doesn't scale, right? Single threaded, so throw more cores at the problem doesn't help. Uh, the data set size is restricted to the memory of the machine. It's actually pretty inefficient with memory. Usual rule of thumb is you allocate 10x the data set size in terms of memory to actually operate on it effectively. And there's no real optimization, right? So you uh, have pandas operations one after the other. It's not gonna do any reordering, not gonna optimize it in any which way whatsoever. So what usually ends up happening is you operate on uh, your data set in a notebook on a sample and then have to end up rewriting it into Sp SQL or uh, PySpark or Snowpark, uh, one of these many big data frameworks to be able to run it on the cloud. Okay, so enter Modern. So Modern is a project that we've been working on for the last few years, so open source project. It's a drop-in replacement for Pandas, so it supports a Pandas API, runs it on distributed computing frameworks like Ray and Dusk, um, uh, it's had a lot of adoption, around 1 million a month, not quite DuckDB level, but pretty good for us. Um, hundreds of contributors, and it's also shipped as part of the AWS uh, and Intel data science distributions. And all of this is thanks to research that we did at UC Berkeley to figure out how to take this data frame data model and the, and the algebra and then distill it down to the core set of operations that can then be parallelized. Okay. So with Ponder, we are taking this to the next level, right? So we are now taking Pandas and then letting it, translating it into SQL that can be run on your data warehouse. And this could be DuckDB as well as BigQuery or Snowflake. And we are not, not just doing this for Pandas, but we are also doing it for NumPy. We have preliminary support for NumPy and a bunch of other visualization and machine learning libraries as well. Okay, so the magic of Ponder, this is very similar to the, the, the Malloy talk. Um, uh, where you have this one line in pandas and then we can output a, a 300 plus line equivalent SQL query. This is for min-max normalization, just a few keystrokes in pandas. Basically what it's doing is normalizing each column based on the, the min and max. Um, and so all of this happens automatically for the user. User doesn't have to do a thing. We, we do this all for you. Okay, so what do you have to do from a user standpoint? Set up the database connection here, DuckDB. Uh, and then import Ponder, import Modern as well. Modern acts as an orchestrator here. And then you do your Pandas thing, and then it all happens uh, uh, seamlessly and scalably on your database backend. And so out of the box, this gives like 4x, 10x, 3x speedups on your uh, on your kind of DuckDB. Uh, and, and so this is, I, if I were to, uh, write a clickbait article, this would be one quick way to speed up your, your Pandas workflow, right? It's just write it as is, it all gets pushed down to DuckDB. And so if you'd like to try it out, here's a link, app.pondo.io slash sign up, uh, pip install, and then log in, and then you're off. 
Thanks so much.